Hi guys, welcome to the computer forensics class. This is Raj Shekhar from St. Peter's Engineering College. In this video, we are going to discuss about the difference between the virus and bomb. What is in a virus and what is a bomb? How the virus is affected, how bomb is affected. So let's start our session. What is in a virus? A virus is a computer program that attaches itself to a legment programs and files without the user consent. A computer virus has attached itself to a computer program or a file enabling. It is to spread from one computer to the other computer, leaving infections as it travels. Where the virus can travel from the one system to the another system, another system through the network or uh, through the any memory devices, where the computer is entered automatically that particular location or that particular device will be fully affected with that virus and it corrupts the files and the memory details. When it comes to the worm, the worm is also a similar to the virus by the designing and it considered to the subclass of the virus. Where like that the virus will affect more locations and the more spacious and the worm will affect with a small type of the process. But worm is also one of the spreading of the computer to the computer. So that means one computer to the another computer with a memorable devices. So the worm will also spread like that only but the computer virus is a small program written to a alter the way of a computer operates without the permissions or without the accessibility of the particular user that means remotely that particular operating system or the particular device will be used or operated by that particular special viruses and the worm will consume too much of the system memory or a network bandwidth but it causes the web servers and the network servers or individual computers to stop responding. If a worm, uh, if a worm type errors, worm type virus will be affected in that particular system automatically. That system will occur with a hanging of a system. For example, if when you are using a uh, when you are using a small desktop system, if a virus is affected, that automatically that system will corrupt and the data will be duplicated with that particular virus. That means, for a Trojan horse virus is entered into your system. The system will be affected with that virus automatically duplications of the system duplications of the data will be occurred in that particular system when the worm entered automatically that system will be hang out that that system will be stop working that system will be uh, will, it will get the issues of that uh, uh, not working and working within a very slow on the operating system failures and it will asking the bootable devices like this type of errors will occur when worm enters when virus enters, the data duplications and the data deletion will be happened without knowing that the particular users. Automatically, if the virus enters, the data loss and the data storage must be very uh, highly effective. And the worm enters, that particular system will be hang out on the network devices, but both the virus and worms will affect the system. A virus must, must meet the two criteria. Very importantly, two criteria we have to meet with the virus. What are those two criteria? It must execute itself and it often places its own code in the path of the execution or any other programming. So that means .exe files will also be executed with that particular virus. And it must replicate itself and it must replicate itself. Automatically that particular virus will be replicated by itself and continuously duplications will be occurred. Uh, for example, it may replace all of the other executable files with a copy of the virus or it's an infected files. For example, in your uh, C drive or a D drive is affected with a frozen horse virus or any other viruses, that particular drive will have in a folder with a single folder only, which the name of the movies. If this virus is affected in that particular drive, automatically that movies folder will be moving into the hidden hidden files. That uh, in that the data will all move into the hidden files, but the data will not be deleted. But the data is not visible to that particular user, or else. The data must be deleted and duplicated with a different name with an .exe files. And so you can't open that particular folder, but the folder is visible to you. So like these types of virus will be affected on that particular systems. When the worm is also having a two types of a criteria, those worms explode the hole in the operating system security. So it is important to download and install all the patches. So when the worm entered into a particular operating system, it corrupts the operating system internally, which the files are major important to run an operating system. So if you want to download the particular patch file, automatically it shows an error. Why? Because the patch errors will have a root of that particular operating system. 
each and every patch will have a route to communicate with that operating system server to that particular operating system. The worm will delete those terms of the root system and it will, be, it will decrease the security protocols and it will collapse all the security protocols which is in, inbuiltly installed in the particular operating systems. So the worm will have any two criteria which, which is majorly affected and virus is also two criteria which are majorly affected. And the next one is the virus will require the spreading of the infected host files. So virus will spread very costly and it can move into the overall drive within a fraction of seconds when you are clicking on a single click or a double click. Worms are all the programs that replicable themselves from the system to the systems without the use of the host files. To run the virus, you need a host file. That means the, where the system is installed in that particular virus, that system host system will also useful for spreading of that particular virus. But in the worms, there is no required of the host to spread off all the data. And a virus is a computer that attach itself the very legment programs. So a computer virus may be used to access the private data such as user IDs and passwords or display the unknowing messages to the particular users or corrupt the data in, an, in your personal computer or the official or uh, organization computer and log off the user's keyboards without uh, knowing of that particular user. You can disable the keyboards and everything keystrokes will be disabled by using your, all the viruses. And the computer virus have been known and employ social engineering techniques also. These all techniques will be used to involve in the deceiving the users of the open file which appears to the normal file also as in a Word or Excel. So once the file is opened, the virus code is executed and does not, it, it, it does not include it in that particular execution pattern. The virus can be divided according to the all methods and that can be used with an infecting of the files. When the virus is affected to that particular system automatically, each and every file, each and every drive is also be corrupted with that particular uh, viruses. Uh, we have any different types of viruses in the particular uh, different, different categories of the viruses will be using and uh, different categories of the virus will be affected to that particular systems. Those are the file viruses who have boot sector viruses, macro viruses, script viruses. Like this, different different viruses we have. And we have a few measures also there to measure the particular viruses. And worm spreads them more rapidly than virus. So virus need some action to spread the, from the one folder to the another folder or one drive to the another drive. But worm node enough to any action, without any action of that particular user, worm can spread easily. That means if a worm is entered into a particular device or particular system automatically without any action, the virus, the worm will spread full very rapidly and it can be moved very fastly to that particular drive. And it can attach any document of the email or file or a network. It can be attached to the any document and it can be affected to that any particular devices which open that particular document also. And it can be attached uh, very fastly and it is through the email also the worms can be spread. Uh, for example, the virus is an A, the, we have a few attachments. So those are the examples of the .exe, .com, .dvos, .xls. These are all also in a virus affected files. So if a .com file is also, the folder can't be saved within a .com. But a virus is affected to that particular, automatically that folder will move into the .com extensions. Like this, we have a virus affected folders and virus affected drives will change their particular uh, categories and the extensions of that particular folders. And we have an examples that uh, I love you, Melika, Cascade, File Infector Wireless, and uh, man, man Network, Phishing, Phishing Networks. So these are all the examples of that particular viruses. And we have an examples of the worm also. Those are the blaster worm. The worm has been designed to tunnel into our system and allows the malicious, uh, malicious users to control your computer remotely. So the, if the worm is entered automatically, the system is also moving to the, some other uh, user's accounts. So like that, we have an, a different examples. Uh, to protect against such attacks, an organization can use the following methods. Uh, to protect that particular uh, attacks, we have to use some uh, methods to protect from the virus and worms. To protect against such attacks, an organization can use the following methods. A policy that prohibits user from uh, downloading unnecessary files from the internet such as uh, spam email attachments, games, programs uh, that claims to spread up the downloads under the access. If you want to open any website, that, was, uh, that website must be known by your 
uh, users or that particular website is in a secured website. If without knowing any unknown uh, website, is, uh, web pages will be displayed in that uh, websites. So if you click on that particular ads, automatically that ad will move on to the next pop up website and the next move, it's moved to the some other locations. So if you are moving to the if you are moving to the one uh, one web page to the another web page, automatically the web page will contain some virus files. If you click on that particular file, automatically that virus will be downloaded in your system and it will affect your overall system. Antivirus software must be installed on all the computers. The antivirus software, which is a licensed software only you have to use or else authorized secured software you have to use in that particular systems and you have to update early when we, when the operating system is installed automatically you have to update frequently to uh, secure from your virus and the scams or the spam of the messages and the scan the external devices when you are isolated to that particular machine especially those that origin from the outside of the organization if you are inserting at any memory device or any uh, electronic media device inserting in that particular device you have to scan before when you insert any pen drive or memory card in the system, automatically it will also scan the system, uh, scan the device or without scanning the device. If you click on the without scanning the device, so the system on the Windows Defender will not scan that particular device and it will open the, without any security, it, the system, the device will be open. So in that case is the virus, if the device is affected with a virus, automatically the virus will enter into the systems. So, if you want to install, if you want to execute any files with from the external devices, you have to scan before when you are using that particular devices. Regularly backups of a critical data must be made and stored and preferably read-only media such as CDs and DVDs. The CDs and DVDs are the less affected when compared to the electronic media devices. So preferably use the CDs and DVDs when you are executing. Why? Because the CDs and DVDs they have an option that bootable of the particular operating system or bootable of that particular OS. In the bootable device, it's a, there is no possibility to, to enter of the virus and the worms into that particular location or the devices. So preferably use the CDs and DVDs for installation of the external softwares. And worms exploit the vulnerability in the operating systems. Downloading of the operating system updates can help to reduce the infections and the replications of the particular. If you download an operating system automatically, the Windows Defender or Windows Defender or any operating systems Defender will be, uh, make an uh, updations in that particular locations automatically. So the antivirus and the security protocols will also update. So it may, it, that particular system will be uh, less affected with uh, virus or other worms. Worms can also be avoided by scanning and email attachments before downloading them. If you open an uh, Gmail with an attachment, if you keep your cursor on a particular attachment, automatically the internet or the Google only will scan that particular file or the attachments. So after scanning that particular attachment, it will automatically shows the download option. If, the, uh, if that particular attachment is affected with a virus, it will show a virus affected. So there is no option to click on the download button and it will show the risk option. That is a risk, the risk symbol there without the downloading. So this is the difference between the worm and viruses. And we have in a few steps to control the uh, viruses or else uh, what is the role of the particular com uh, computer when the crimes or the cyber crimes are involved. Here we have to discuss about the computer roles in the crimes. Majority of the crimes will be involved in the computers. Why? Because nowadays the, all the cyber crimes are only moving on. So here we are using the more on the role of the uh, more on the computers in the criminal activities the investigation of the computer intrusion requires one approach while investigating of the case or the homicide with any related digital evidences requires a completely different procedure if you are uh, inquiring to the uh, human being there is any different procedure when you are the case is involved with any system or any electronic devices that procedure will be the different why because you have to check each and every module each and every uh, device in that particular each and every file and folder of that particular devices a specific role and we have to uh, take the particular evidences take that particular device with a clear and very very absurdly we have to verify that particular device is the computer the key piece or incidental evidences means automatically that devices will be moved into the forensic lab and the forensic lab will verify each and every file of that particular 
devices will be verified. However, when a computer is a key piece of the evidence, is an investigation and contains a large amount of the digital evidences. If it is often necessary to collect the entire computer and its contents, and additionally, when you have to play in a computer, plays a significant role in an acquire. So, in the computer is one of the advantages, and it is also one of the disadvantages of the crimes. When you see the cyber crimes, the system plays a very crucial role. To hack on other systems, but that system only will give us a lead to to catch that particular victim. Why? Because if you are entering into one another system, automatically your system information will be stored in that particular hacked system. So, if in a forensic lab, people will identify that hacked system information from the victim's laptop or victim's devices. So the information, the either IP address or MAC ID or any other information which is related to that particular hacker will be stored in that particular device. So with that computer only, we can easily trace out of that particular person or particular uh, particular effective person or victims in the entire of that particular cases. Several attempts have been made to develop any languages in the forms of a different categories. We have any different different categories and we. We have a different languages to operate the particular devices. Uh, to help them describe the roles of the computer in a crime, the categories are necessarily ignoring the details for the sake of the providing them a general items. For example, if you are using a general pieces or general items, that particular devices will ignore automatically if that uh, particular operation of that particular system protocol will not be useful. So the systems will also have a role with that very crucially. Here, see uh, the what is the role of the particular computer in an affected place. A computer is a target, a computer is a tool, and a computer is an appliance. So you can use that particular computer in any different, different various modules, and it can be used in a very crime. When a computer is affected by the criminal act, it is an object of that particular crime. When your computer is in a subject of that particular crime. Automatically, when a computer is an environment in which the crime is committed, it's the subject of that particular crime. The computer can be used for a tool, and it's a, the computer is also used for a tool. Why? Because when the computer is used as a frog documents or large amount of the documents will be break into the other computers, it is the instrument of the crime. So the computer will become as a tool in that particular cases. And a computer will become an appliances when the symbol of the computer itself can be used as an uh, intermediate or a devices of that particular cases. So, like this, we have an, a we will consider the role of the computer in a crime is a very very important that is plays in a very crucial role when a crime is attempted in that particular locations. Thank you, guys. Uh, we we'll meet in the next session.